Welcome hoarders, they are to be playing some more Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, today I'm going to be showing you um, the customization options for the Pegasi Zeroso. Um, let's head on in. I'm going to be testing this uh, this vehicle tomorrow. Um, I don't know what this is actually based off of. I don't really look anything up until I'm going to do the testing episode. Um, I kind of wing these ones, just, it's customization, it's not, um, like, info about the real-life version, all that type of stuff, so, I'll go over that, um, in the actual testing episode, um, to figure out the speed and all that stuff for this. Uh, I, I did enter, did I do brakes? Yeah. Uh, okay, exhaust. The fact that we're starting straight off with exhaust and there's no bumper options... Um, I don't, I don't like that right off the bat. Okay, so we have stock exhaust, um, split pipes, multi-pipe setup. That is a lot of exhaust pipes. W why would you need 10? Whatever, do whatever you want. Um, angular exits. Um, those you can barely even see. They kind of look... Like the stock ones, but like painted black. Um, carbon angular exits. Uh, DSEM exhaust. That's the exact same thing as the multi-pipe, except they look smaller. And then the street setup. Oh my dear lord, we're doing that one. With the tur What? It's turbos on the back, right? Is that? It looks like it. Or, no, it's a it's cold air intakes with turbos. Cool. Let's go with, go with that one. Uh, I do like that. I'm probably going to keep that on. Uh, front bumper. We have stock, open, open two, racing, and racing two. I like the regular racing, personally. It looks more aggressive. Uh, grill. We have stock grill, capped, and open. Um... Capped makes it look too much like, uh, what is it? The, there's, uh, the AMC, it's like the McLaren, um, Mercedes. I don't, uh, I don't remember what one it, it, it's a Mercedes, but I don't remember. It, it has like a shark nose. I'll put a picture up. <coughs> it looks too much like that when, with, with the cap on. I like the stock the most. Let's stay with that. Hood. We have the stock hood, clean, streamline, and streamline two. Um, I'm gonna go with the regular streamline. Streamline two looks like there's too much going on. Uh, horn, lights, I always do lights. Uh, in here, I like doing the white lights. They, they look clearer to me. Liveries, all, all of the new cars that they've been adding all have liveries, but like before, I feel like they're putting too much into liveries compared to other things. I don't know. Okay, we have none tricolor. I almost said triocular. Um, Black Stripe, Flow Racing. Who's that? From Progressive? She has her own car. Cool. Um, Xero Gas. Um, Hinterland, Lucky Plucker, Pegasus, Ron, Rim Paint, uh, Flint Tools, um, and that's it. Um, that kind of looks like it's supposed to be a badger. Uh, or, or an anteater. It could be an anteater. I'm not completely sure. <coughs> okay, um... I'm not doing any liveries. I'm not a livery person in general, so I'm not going to do any of those. Um, now, the fact that I'm doing a plate at all is a waste of my time. Because you can't put a plate on it. Uh, respray. I'm going to do something. Let's see. I, do, I don't know right off the top of my head what color is going to look good with this. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, 
That bright orange kind of looks cool. The way it sits right now. I want to go with that because I think the secondary, I think, is what's making it look... No, maybe it's not. Oh, the secondary is for the engine, uh, the valve cover colors. Um, of course, there's people outside blowing each other up. What else would you expect? <clears throat> I kind of want to go with something that's not orange for the valve covers. Which is also the mirrors. I mean, I could do chrome. I can, but chrome doesn't even do anything. It makes it black if you do chrome. Uh... I don't want to take all day to pick a color out. I want to go with the standard orange instead of bright orange for that. Make it just a little bit different. Not much. Roof. You can have stock roof, which is no roof, or the carbon hard top. I'm going to go with the carbon hard top. Um, if it was where you could tuck the roof away like a regular convertible, like you could actually remove the roof when you want to, that'd be different. Um, okay, for spoilers, we have none. Primary ducktail, carbon ducktail, drag wing, that is monstrous, GT wing, and secondary street wing. I'm going to go with nothing right now because I have a hunch that that wing moves when you drive it, um, and I haven't driven it yet. Um, I just did spoiler. We got to do transmission, turbo. Uh, I'm going to have to go through, pick a set of wheels that look good with this. I always use those. I don't like using those all the time. I want something that's going to... Those I like. Let's go with these. Um, and I need to do bulletproof. And that is it as far as that goes. Um, let's head on outside real quick. Okay, it's still a bit dark out. Oh, well. I want to see if that wing pops up or not. I will say, uh, so far, that the handling right off the bat is very loose um like it's pretty agile feeling but the wing doesn't come up so i might end up oh i might end up putting a different wing on it um as i crash it nearly immediately um well that is going to be it for this episode then um make sure you check out the testing video that'll be out on tuesday hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you in the next one And if you did enjoy the video, check out one of my previous, next, and related videos. And don't forget to check out my social medias in the description down below.